Okay, welcome to Alias Studio Tutor. In this video, you're going to learn how to obtain uh, tutor files to learn different techniques on how to build uh, models in Alias. Uh, once you arrive here at Design Engine Education uh, Training Materials, click on Alias Studio Tutor, and you'll see here that we have many different uh, models here to learn from showing you different techniques on how to actually produce product. In this example, uh, we're going to build a, uh, a sphere, uh, a sphere product. Um, so once you arrive here, you click on Tutor, and then to download the file, click on globes.zip. Once that arrives, you can actually drop that right into Alias and begin the tutorial. Your file may look like this. So once uh, that arrives, uh, you can run through the tutorial. For this example, um, I'm going to take this object and template it out. And we'll use it for reference as we're building the model. OK, to start, I'm going to go ahead and place a sphere at the origin and scale this using transform. Scale this up and it looks about right. Now, for the feet of our product, we are going to place another sphere, set it at zero, and scale this up using scale. Okay, so now you notice that uh, here in the sphere, there's actually an isoparm that's darker than the rest. That represents a seam. Now, in order for us not to run into any problems trimming, we're going to have to get rid of that seam or actually place it uh, in an area that's not going to give us any troubles later on. So we're going to go to transform, rotate. Okay. Now you notice that the seam is now on top. When we scale this uh, we'll make sure that that's out of the way. Uh, it'll produce a, a cleaner trim. So we'll select the object here and we'll shape this using uh, scale and then also non-proportional scale. I'm using here uh, zero transformations which zeroes out any movements or uh, scaling that I've done. Okay, so now that we have the shape that we're looking for, we're going to place it in one of the quadrants here. So I'm going to select the object again and zero transform it out. Now to actually place the foot, uh, we're going to use a little icon here called uh, magnetize to curve. So X4 move notice that it's snapped on to the actual isoparm. Okay, so now that it's placed, turn that back off. Okay, now that it's in a quadrant, we have to give it a little pitch so that it looks like these guys over here. Okay, we're going to zero transform that again, set it back to zero, rotate, and we're going to give it a uh, negative 20 pitch. Okay, we're going to zero transform that out again. and then rotate it in the Z, negative 45 degrees. Okay, that looks about right. Now we're going to duplicate this so that get we get all four feet. We're going to go to Edit, Duplicate, Object, Options, and now we need three more feet. And we're going to rotate this 90 degrees. Select go. Oops, I forgot to recenter the pivot. I'm going to select the object here. Now, to recenter the pivot, select the pivot tool, zero it back. Notice it's back at zero. Now, when we duplicate it, it'll look right. There we go. Okay, so now that we have these duplicated, we can 
trim and round these. And uh, I do have another file that I'm going to open. A little bit different shape. Okay. So now that these are placed, we're going to simply select edges here and intersect them using surface edit. Intersect. Notice that there are now curve on surfaces. Okay, that should give us a decent trim. So, switch our window here and select the area that we want to keep. And then also the main body. And now we can produce our rounds. Surface tools, rounds. Now notice it's only selecting half. That's because spheres are produced in halves. So we select the other side here. Okay, and then we want to change its value. And we can do all these all at once. Just remember that they, they will be in a group. So if you want to edit them later, you'll have to edit them in a group. Okay, and then let's ask Alias to build the rounds. And now you notice that these are pretty small rounds, so we're going to change the value. again. There's a smaller value in there. So make sure we get all of them. is the feet. <coughs> okay, so now to build the actual divot, um, we're going to place another sphere. And scale. Now, again, we want to make sure that uh, we stay clear of that actual seam a better round. So we're going to rotate this, transform, rotate, and make sure that that seam is not touching. And then we'll non-proportionally scale this kind of into uh, more of a disk. Now from different view, we're going to kind of just place this to our design specifications. that because of that seam we still have to discard the side. Okay. So this is gonna trim that. You can see that we now have a divot and we can 
center around. Out of rounds and spheres.